what we're doing here today is a actually a lead renovation training session. Uh, this home in Midtown Tulsa is built in pre-1978. And the way the legislation and the laws work, it's best to assume that any home built before 1978 does have lead uh, in the paint finishes. So that's what we're doing. Under the circumstances, this homeowner has opted out because there is a window of opportunities where there's a home where there's no children under six years of age and no pregnant women in the home that they are not required until roughly June the 23rd to comply with the EPA regulation on lead renovation. But what we're doing as a responsible company here today is training our employees. This is our first opportunity in the field to actually uh, enact or uh, reenact a lead renovation scenario. And so that's what we're doing here today. We've suited up. We're containing the lead. The workers, when they're done at the end of the day, will remove their paper clothing. They are to go directly home and take a bath to eliminate any uh, lead on their person. Uh, when they come out, there's actually a sticky tape that's uh, on the entrance to the doorway so that any lead that may be on their shoes is grabbed. And then basically, at the end of the day, we just fold up the floor and clean everything so that all the lead from that day's work is contained. Next day, we come back, we set it up again, do the work all day long, and then break down the room and clean, and then the workers go home and clean. And the whole intention of this is to contain lead. Some homeowners and a lot of contractors are fearful of it, what it'll do to the business. In fact, our study shows that overall it won't affect building costs by more than 5%. So we want to give people confidence that this can be done. They can remodel their homes safely and eliminate some of the risk from lead.